Hey, this is Bree from the Westford Public Library. I got cut off. I, I use the software that only lets me talk for five minutes. Otherwise, we would be here for hours. Um, but I got cut off in the middle of talking about these two nice books. So again, people have been requesting nice books, books that make you feel good, that aren't tragic and all of that. So uh, The Music of Bees, again, I talked about that one on the last video. And then Early Morning Riser, it's just going to improve your mood and elevate or restore your faith in humankind. That is a big, uh, big lift, but it's just kind of a, a wise, big-hearted, boundlessly joyful novel of love, disaster, and an unconventional family. So, Early Morning, morning Riser by Catherine Heine. You might want to check that out. Okay, now we're going to switch gears and talk about some of the, oh, the books everywhere. Nonfiction books. Okay, the first one that I'm going to introduce is not new, it's old, but there's renewed interest in it. And this is James Harriet's All Creatures Great and Small. So you might have um, fallen in love with the DVD series that was on PBS, which we have as well. Um, and you might want to read uh, James Harriet's All Creatures Great and Small. It's about like country veterinarian. Um, it's supposed to be really good. Okay. Um, let's do switching gears from country veterinarian. We have uh, Michio Kaku's um, The God Equation, The Quest for a Theory of Everything. And so this guy is a scientist, physicist, um, big thinker. Uh, so this is a really big science book about coming up with a kind of a huge theory to explain everything. Okay, so we'll see if he did it. Um, another kind of science book in a different way is A World on the Wing, The Global Odyssey of Migratory Birds by um, Scott Widensaw. And so this is a, a science of migrating birds. And it talks about um, all the exhilarating um, discoveries that have been made with technology around bird migration. So um, it's just fascinating. I mean, if, if you like birds, if you like science, if you like migration, you'll want to check out A World on the Wing by Scott Widensall. Okay. A couple more nonfiction ones to share with you. So Lisa Genova, um, you may recognize her name. She is the best-selling author of the book Still Alice, which was about a woman who uh, slowly uh, loses her memory. Um, it was kind of one of those things that put Alzheimer's or dementia more Alzheimer's on in the public conversation. It was a movie too, um, but she's actually a scientist. And so she wrote a book about the science of memory and the art of forgetting. So if you are interested in those topics, you might want to check out Remember by Lisa Genova. And one last thing for our music fans. Uh, we have a lot of music fans in Westford. Um, this book is called A Little Devil in America. And it's by, um, well, I'm going to butcher his name, um, Hanif Abdurajib. I really said that wrong, and I'm so sorry to him. Um, but it's a little devil in white America, uh, a little devil in America, and it's a praise of black performers. Um, so the roots of African American music and black music throughout the country, um, and kind of follows that the history and the culture and the dance uh, that's associated with it. So it should be fascinating if you like music at all. And I'm sure there'll be some surprising facts about the influences that black music has had on our culture and our world. Um, and it's just, it's just a really dense, uh, researched and um, fact-filled little book. Okay, so I hope you saw something there that you liked. Remember that the Westford Public Library is now open. Uh, you can come visit me here on Wednesdays from 1 to 7 and on Saturdays from 10 to 2. And if you still prefer doing curbside, we are still doing curbside on Thursdays and Fridays. So however you want to get a book, come get a book at the Westford Public Library. Bye!